you know on two, uh, i think in 2018 everything was set all systems set but you know i could not because the priorities were different because he was growing he had to go out he has his own ambitions but i was still you know working on my own pace right at my own pace but then what happened there came a point where i was like before covid just one month two minutes you know two months before that i was like i want to create money because i need money for them right so i want to create the whole focus was creating money nothing happened when we joined quantum we realized oh my god what exactly what we were doing it changed the entire thing said i did, do not have any kind of a struggle story i was just playing fortnite and i, just, I was bored of it and i just started it so i started with that and i realized you know what sid was doing you know it felt like a game to me when i was you know watching him in a webinar and at the end of a 90 minute thing he made like 10 lakhs and i was like this is a nice game to play because you know fortnite is very very boring more than a journey of struggling it has been more than a journey of discovery i would say it has all been you know realizations going on you know and impact has been created in the last 18 months we hit around 4.5 crores so that's a, a numbers we have Our fourth speaker is him and her. Let's bring on Aditya Sharma and Sonia Sharma. Go for it. What would you like to share? Thank you so much. It's you know, uh, it's just an honor you know being here. I always say this because it's my first actually you know this is my first mastermind ever that i'm attending as the first person you know who came into my life and showed me the path so i'm really really honored to be here you know i really wish i had or um, we had you know uh, you know a rags to riches story but we actually don't have and you know uh, to be honest you know it it before you know i even go on to that i really i really need to you know uh, share with you like what do we guys do because not many of you know we are into the tarot reading you know it's a hybrid kind of a model so you know she is the face i am the, you know the back end face if you can say that so we started with this you know our you know the thing that we do is we are on a mission to help you know 1 million women become self reliant with the power of tarot cards and you know bring tarot into the mainstream so that's what her you know thing is i'm saying is because i've been you know writing it you know all day so that's why i'm saying it so you know the reason i got into it you know for me you know being a 19 year old when i was because i started it when i was 19 years old and for me to you know at that point of time to me you know to go into tarot kind of a thing it was simply because you know i was learning from sids i started with that and the moment i was learning i you know I started just like I said I did, do not have any kind of a struggle story I was just playing Fortnite and I just, I was bored of it and I just started it so I started with that and I realized you know what Sid was doing you know it felt like a game to me when I was you know watching him in a webinar and at the end of a 90 minute thing he made like 10 lakhs and I was like this is a nice game to play because you know Fortnite is very very boring and when we started with that you know I went on you know just following everything what he was doing and when the first video that i watched of it it really felt like a game because whatever you saying do this do this okay i'll do that you know this is a nice game to play you're also getting money out of it so i was doing that and everything i followed you know and uh, you know just to you know quick it up i followed everything and i got my first 100 students in my community all of them were less than 19 year olds you know all of them so it was a great thing for me they paid around 4000 rupees and you know it was a wonderful feeling for me to nurture people you know like me and i was really really happy doing that you know but there's a bigger realization that i got from that you know place that i would really want to share that with you because i was doing it you know as like a game like i said i was not following any such concepts i was just listening to it do do those and all the tactics that i was doing i was following the webinar selling formula and all, all, getting the conversions 100 students got into my community but you know there's a bigger thing that i realized there you know in terms of impact because i never realized this i only knew this in the theory part but that's where i realized this i got the students and they were doing the things and you know i realized they were really not moving forward because you know i was telling them to you know make courses and they were like what do i make a course on so and they were sending me you know uh, you know stuff like that and i was really you know i really went deep into that that what we are doing as a 19 year old i don't think i think we need to solve problems for people that's where i realized you know you know this is 
a completely different thing that I'm doing. I'm, though I have the students, but it was not making an impact. So I went into the learning mode again. I wanted to solve a bigger problem in the world and I really wanted to make an impact because it was not just about selling a 4,000 rupee course. It was actually to create something like what that guy was doing. It was really, you know, I, I could see that. That's where I realized, you know, I have somebody at my home who actually knows what, a pro you know, what problem she is solving and she was doing that, you know, on the offline world. And then I realized, okay, I have an entrepreneur at home, let's use her. So I just started, you know, <laughs> so I just, told her, okay, record a video, record this, I'll do this. So I was just like, you know, being very strict to her, you know, you record this in that way. If you don't speak these words, you know, I'm not going to do it with you. <laughs> so it was that, it was that way. I was very, very hard on her and, you know, it was like I was teaching her. It was, I mean, amazing feeling if I would tell you because, you know, because whenever, when we were, when I was studying and, you know, we wanted to leave, I wanted to leave the college and, you know, whenever she used to say, you know, you do, do your English assignment. I said, you know, go you record three ads for the webinars. <laughs> So it was a wonderful feeling that time. And you know, from the, you know, the emotional side, I would say, you know, uh, although I say it in a very fun way that, you know, I left college, but it was, I would say for me, it was just like a game. For her, it was a really emotional moment, you know. Even now, you know, if, you know, if somebody comes in the home and, you know, I have to say, what do I do? You know, and she said, okay, you know, what do I write in the, you know, the college thing? So she really feels, and sometimes, you know, it's in the back of the mind, but there is a feeling. But that's where the second realization that I want to share with you is, you know, when you take that uncertain, you know, risk, it is never, you know, it is never, you never come into that point that, you know, it's, you don't, you don't have the clarity in your life ever. I don't think that we do, you know, based on my experience. So it's better to take risks and do what you really, really love doing. And that is what I love doing. So the two things I wanted to do. I wanted to play a game and, you know, play a bigger role. And that's where I, you know, got into her. So the, I would say for us, it has not more than a journey of struggling. It has been more than a journey of discovery, I would say. It has all been, you know, realizations going on, you know, and impact has been created. And I would love mom to share on what kind of things she's doing, you know, with the women audience, which I am noticing, you know, as the, you know, the frontier of the movie, I'm just watching the movie and she's doing all the things. I really want her to share with you, you know, the numbers, if I talk about the numbers in the last 18 months, we hit around 4.5 crores. So that's the uh, numbers we have. And more than the numbers, also, uh, in terms of quantum impact, I would say, we were doing really good in terms of, you know, webinars and conversions. The quantum shift happened just after joining quantum. I realized I was chasing a goal, you know, one CR a month by not having, you know, things right. I was trying to, you know, you know, what do you say? Chase a fish by not having the foundation. Yeah, like, I don't know how to say it. Yeah. <laughs> so I was not doing it correctly. I was just, you know, I would just like to say that. So the quantum shift happened and I would just like to state this, you know, because all of you, you know, we all love data. With three emails, we had 45 lakhs, you know, with just three single emails that we, you know, blasted out to a community. That's where I realized that this game is a bigger game. It's not just about, you know, the freedom is there. You just need to, you know, work it out in that way. With six, three emails, you know, based on the one-to-one -one I had with Sids, you know, he said us that, you know, everybody's chasing the formula, the method. It is all about the solid product that you created. We created an awesome product that, you know, more than 200 people joined from the community. And we did, did it just through three emails that I sent to the, you know, the community. And it was an awesome feeling. That is when I realized the true power of freedom, you know, what the quantum, you know, really, you know, showed us. And I would just, you know, go give it to mom because, you know, she would love to share that with you. All right. So, hi, everyone. Okay. Before I start, I really want to know how many of you know what tarot is? Just raise your hand. Okay. So what do you know about tarot? One person. That person? You said. Yeah? Okay. No, next to you. Yeah. You said. You raise your hand. Huh? What do you know about tarot? From many years ago, I saw And? Okay. Anybody else? Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. This is what people think that it is some kind of hocus pocus thing, you know, or you know, some kind of hoodoo voodoo kind of thing that there will be one girl who will sitting, who will be sitting with the crystal and who will be telling you about your future. You know, it is all wrong. It is all nonsense. And this is what I'm trying to tell people, right? Come out of that mode. Don't depend on anybody else. 
You know, you really need to listen to your heart. And this is a new thing which I have, you know, which I'm working on, you know, helping people understand how they can bring, you know, tarot in the mainstream, working daily, you know, on their goals. Yeah, because I am actually integrating both intuition and intellect. So this is what we need to do. If we really want to reach our goals, whatever we want to create, we can only create that if we have, a, you know, a proper blend of that. So this is the struggle was really hard right from the beginning because people who used to come to me, they used to think that, you know, they are going to create magic. They will get to know about future. They will get everything what they want. And I had to bring them, you know, to the, what the neck is scratch say. Believe in yourself, right? The magic is here, not outside. So this is how, you know, I started. And honestly speaking, I'm really happy because, uh, yeah, that he came back. <laughs> Thanks to Sid. Because, you know, before that, it was uh, like, it was a complete, I joined Sid, you know, on two, uh, I think in 2018. Everything was set, all systems set, but, you know, I could not because the priorities were different, because he was growing, he had to go out, he has his own ambitions. But I was still, you know, working on my own pace, right, at my own pace. But then what happened? There came a point where I was like, before COVID, just one month, two minutes, you know, two months before that, I was like, I want to create money because I need money for them, right? So I want to create. The whole focus was creating money. Nothing happened. And the moment, you know, COVID happened, when people just started coming to me, especially women, and the kind of things they shared, right, that emotional, you know, uh, violence, domestic violence, frustration of men folks, and how they were, you know, taking all on, on the women, that, you know, they have no money, no jobs, and this kind of fighting happening, and I was there to empower those women, right, that, see, I know it's going to change. Right? But you have to empower yourself as well as other. But first work on yourself. If you are not empowered, because how many of you believe men folks here that women, they are the backbone? Yes? Because without you, you know, without them, you know that how many times they have supported you. Yeah? So this is what I do. I empower them through tarot, not only teach them what tarot is, but you know, listening to themselves and you know, empowering themselves. So three things what we are coming back to because we have, we are getting short of, okay, time up. We can see that. All right. So three learnings. Aditya will start and then I'll yeah. end, right? Yeah. I, I would just quickly summarize it. And the first thing, you know, is to solve a bigger problem. It's not just about, you know, doing courses. This is something that I've realized on the hard way, you know, doing things. But yeah, solve a bigger problem that really creates an impact. And the second, you know, tipping point on a journey is, you know, when we were, you know, doing the things, you know, just like I said, you know, when you're in the, into the game, when you're into the skin, your skin is into the game, you don't realize that, you know, it's not numbers on the spreadsheet, it's they're real people who are, you know, it's all about the trust factor which is there. All of us who are here because of that trust factor in SIDS. You know, this is, we don't realize it when you were skin in the game. We were doing webinars and looking at the numbers. That's a bigger realization because when I was doing, you know, we were on that 5 lakhs level, I was just looking at everything like a conversion. 100 people, 20 should buy. If it not buying, don't do the webinars. So it was like that. So that's where the shift happened. Stop, you know, I and me and mom, we stopped looking at, you know, people like numbers. That's the second shift that happened. And the third shift happened is, you know, have that freedom element in you because, you know, it's all about, you know, having fun. It's not about, you know, working all day, all night. It's about, you know, uh, creating freedom and creating impact. That's it. I do not have any new stories to share with you. Thank you so much. <laughs> all right. So I will also tell about three key learnings, you know. The first thing is that when the whole focus was on me, right, creating money, nothing happened. The moment the focus shifted on what they, pe you know, these people, they want, how can I help them? entire thing changed. I really don't know how things happen. People, everything started coming, you know, all the resources, right people, they started coming to me. Yeah, I don't have to search for them. Second thing was that when we joined Quantum, we realized, oh my God, what exactly we were doing. It changed the entire thing. Like, I always, you know, wanted to have a stable business, a, you know, a security kind of thing and a right kind of, you know, which I can take on for next 10 years or 15 years and have, you know, create a legacy. So, you know, this gave me the realization that, you know, we really need to set the right kind of foundation. Before that, it was money coming in, enjoy it, enjoy, right? But that moment, we changed the whole thing and we set a right kind of, you know, journey for our 
you know, our people. And, uh, and that, that's where the magic happened, you know. And uh, I'm so happy. Thank you so much, Sid, for creating Quantum because without this, I think enjoy And I think that's it. And um, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, let's give it up for Aditya and Sonia Sharma. Standing ovation for them. Amazing, amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you, Aditya. Amazing. Yes, thank you, thank you. Once more, once, once more, round of applause for both of them. Yes. Let's give them that energy. Please take your seats. So I still remember the day uh, Sonia messages me on Telegram. I remember that day very clearly, saying that Sid uh, Aditya is in uh, Canada, yeah, and uh, I have to make a decision. Uh, he wants to come back. He wants to, you know, leave the college and come back halfway. And what should I do? That was the question. I just told her if his heart is here, just let him go with his what he really wants to do. Everything else will fall into place. And I'm so glad this is a proof of, okay, what were that, that decision that you made has really worked. So once again, once again, round of applause. Thank you for having the courage to allow him to do what he wants to do. Amazing, amazing.